Hi everyone, my name is Mamdouh Al Harbi from My Way Dentist. In this video, I'm going to talk about the clinical steps of prefabricated fiber post. Before we go through the clinical procedure, I want to do review about the post in general. First of all, the decision of the treatment with the post. Let's say, for example, you have done the endodontic treatment and you ended up with a minimum tooth structure, whether because of caries or because of the access cavity. And here comes the function of the post to hold the core build up, then doing the preparation, then putting a crown. The cemented post in endodontically treated teeth is believed to enhance the prognosis and it's a common clinical procedure. Finally, we have two types of post. We have the prefabricated post, which come with uh, different uh, materials and shapes and systems and we have the custom-made post and the decision between them to use whether the prefabricated or the custom-made is depending on uh, many factors such as the location of the tooth, the geometry of the canal itself, the uh, force types that the tooth will receive, how much of load that the tooth will receive. Uh, regarding the clinical procedure with the prefabricated fiber post, let's say we have two phases. First of all, the removal of the canal filling, then doing the enlargement of the canal. And during these two phases, we need always to remember and emphasize on these six points. Each uh, point is corresponded with a number here in the picture, and we will talk about them. First of all, the apical seal. We need the apical seal on the apical third to uh, seal the accessory canals in that area, which comes with a high percentage here. And uh, then we will do the canal enlargement. And in the canal enlargement, we need to make the space for the uh, post. Then in the third point, point is the post length. And the post length is uh, done with like two thirds of the root length or as long as the clinical crown. And we need to mention that we don't need too long uh, posts uh, that interrupt with the apical seal, and we don't need too short posts uh, that could lead to uh, a fracture because the resistance uh, will be less uh, with, the, um, with the load on the post. In the number four, we have the we need to have a horizontal stop to prevent wedging. Then number five, we need a vertical wall to prevent rotation. And finally, we need to extend our preparation margin to a sound tooth structure for the crown. These are the instruments needed. And first of all, uh, you need to put your rubber dam to prevent aspiration of the instrument and you need to decide your working length of the endodontic treatment, and depending on that, you will re remove the two-third uh, from your root length to put the post, uh, or to have uh, at least five millimeter for the apical seal, uh, and three millimeter is acceptable with uh, the short uh, roots, and you will remove the canal filling with, her, with one of two ways with endodontic heated plugger or with the rotary instrument. The endodontic heated plugger is preferred over the rotary instrument such as um, Gates Glidden because it will not remove from the tooth structure uh, and uh, compromise the tooth. After removal uh, of the canal filling, you will go to the uh, enlargement. But here you need to see this schedule which summarizing the two thirds of the root length of teeth which could be helpful for you, but again, it depends on the case that you have, depending on your working length. In the enlargement of the canal, if you uh, remember, we, we said that we have different uh, prefabricated post systems. Let's say in the fiber post system that I will use, for example, uh, the uh, yellow size. And the yellow size will fit or comes with uh, the uh, yellow drill, which is related in the size of the post itself. So with the drill, you will make the space for your post. And here we need to remember not to uh, remove from the apical seal because the drill is not to remove from the apical seal, it's just to make the space for your post and to make the straight uh, line or a straight uh, orientation for the post. 
and not to remove much uh, dentin from the root uh, walls. After doing the enlargement for the uh, post space, uh, you will take the radiograph to make sure that the post reaching the full length until the apical seal. And here we need to emphasize on the fact that this radiograph is just for example, it's not perfect uh, like for removing from the geta perca or the apical seal. And after uh, making sure that your uh, post is reaching the full length, you will uh, remove the post and you will clean the canal. Then it's very important to make the canal dry to put the cement. You will put the tip of the cement inside the canal and going back until you reach the uh, orifice, then putting your uh, post and doing the light curing. In the previous slides, we discussed about uh, an overview about the post. Uh, we knew the uh, clinical procedure and it's important to know the disadvantage of the routine use of the cemented post. Uh, first of all, as you uh, saw that it it's needs uh, a lot of uh, additional operative uh, procedure. It's not like a straightforward. Uh, during the preparation for the post, you remove additional tooth structure. Uh, in the future, if you want uh, to do the treatment like for a crown and the post is failed, uh, it will complicate your uh, retreatment. And again, also in the endodontic retreatment, it would be uh, difficult and it will not be easy to remove the post and doing the endodontic retreatment. I hope the video uh, was uh, beneficial for you and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.